Um, Myron, your thoughts? Uh, yeah, hold on. Oh! Yo, how old are you, bro? You like 70? Hey, look, my dog's white, too. Bruh. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing white that you don't like. Hey, dog, I'm going to go ahead and start it off by saying ain't nothing wrong with liking anything white, dog. I ain't rocking with the majority of what that dude's saying either. A lot of it's kind of wild and racist, but what's good with YouTube? So, yeah, I know a good amount of y'all have heard about this fresh and fit drama that's been going on the last few, like, days or weeks. Or just mostly the YouTube fiends like myself that just be on this shit damn near all day, like... These dudes been in the headlines damn near every day for the last like two months. Like, whether it's for good or bad, I mean, like, hey, they know how to market, they know how to get in the mix of everything. But hey, like, not all publicity is good publicity, dog. Like, and this one's a fat L, if you ask me. But basically, if you've been living under a rock, you feel me? Fresh and Fit been having a bunch of drama about you know some kind of racist or maybe better yet colorist comments that they made about black women you feel me like y'all black as shit your damn self so like see it's just lame it's just stupid you feel me but like how you gonna be black as night boy and talk about you don't date laquishas and school whatever like they was just saying some real like sus hateful disrespectful sounding shit about you know their own people it's just it's crazy like we get enough flack you feel me just from other races you know but to hear your own talking about you know y'all's women like that your mom whatever your sister like it's kind of fucking crazy like y'all sounding real uncle thomas real uncle ruckus ass motherfuckers right now don't make no sense to me but yeah man check out these clips of them you know saying this bullshit in app called black <laughs> oh <laughs> it's funny i never used that one bro but oh, hey man <laughs> i mean hey bro if you want to date a bunch of shaniquas go for it man look we uh, yeah like uh, I, me and fresh aren't really down with the brown like nah, that man. we ain't night riders nah, so bro, i'm good uh you know sometimes if they're you know red bone but like in general me and fresh uh don't dabble in the dark if you know what i'm saying yep um uh, okay so since which are traits of feminine women what's her gram what's your Instagram, Dude, you, 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 you got, got like a love today. Today. Yeah, that's crazy I ain't gonna lie, just, just keep it real. I don't really date black girls. <laughs> <laughs> it's not because like, no, no. Like, like most black girls are like Snake. annoying, how to put this, uh, ratchet, and they don't know how to like be Scary reserved. Things. You're like the complete opposite. You are so not the stereotype. You, you are, are not, not the stereotype. You are not the same, that's awesome. So, yeah, so I, we'll give you that compliment. But yeah, wild shit, right? Yeah, man. I'm sure most of y'all have seen that clip or at the very least a good chunk of y'all have probably seen that already, but yeah basically just uncalled for like yeah you can have your preferences yeah you can you know like what you like or whatever but when you start throwing jabs and shit like that at your own women like uh we not night riders you feel me um we don't dabble in the dark like we should whatever the hell they said like all that shit won't necessary though all you had to do was just say you feel me like you got your, your preference what you like and maybe it ain't black girls or whatever like y'all ain't have to add all that extra shit like all that extra you know salt added on to it that like y'all sound like some damn racist bigots or some shit like y'all don't even sound like y'all black saying some shit like that like if i just heard the voice of y'all speaking in that situation and i didn't see like you know a, a video or didn't know who y'all were like shit i would have thought this is like some damn white supremacist or some shit you can tell shorty that fit i guess was trying to compliment you know she won't feel that shit she just staring at the motherfucker like bro are you serious right now like like that's not a compliment like basically roasting your whole race of women or throwing them under one big umbrella you feel me like stereotyping like that's crazy like coming from your own people and shit but i mean i understand having your own preference but yeah y'all just y'all just uh swung and missed with this one i ain't gonna lie to you but yeah man that's the old part of the story the first half that's what led up to this whole situation and them having this phone call with this you know black panther member uh dr umar 2.0 you feel me like he won't have in this shit to be real i don't know why they would even go on this show like <laughs> there's nothing good gonna come out of it you're just gonna get flamed what you thought this dude was gonna support y'all's decision to say that wild shit like no nah, he gonna be flaming y'all shit why would you even come up there and then yeah y'all double down i mean i guess that's somewhat respectable but like this ain't really the thing to double down about bro like there's no benefit of doubling down with this type of situation you feel me you're just gonna be hated by more and more people like i don't really get the strategy behind it but 
And then, like, they, the way they went about doubling down is just kind of, like, lame and shit. Like, ugh, like, I don't know. It's just not a good look, man, at all. But, yeah, man, check these clips out, bro. <laughs> it's kind of painful for me to even watch this shit, to be real. But, yeah, it's just a circus, man. Like, viewer discretion, it's going to be some kind of racist shit being said in this shit. But, hey, like I said at the beginning, I don't stand behind none of that racist shit. But, yeah, check it out. Okay, okay so we're going to get it real quick. Um... I'm so, as a student of Dr. Khalid Muhammad, I'm so sick and tired of athletes, entertainers, and those that make it um, turning on black people and talking down to black people. It's clear that these two brothers, they just love them some cracker women. They just love them some blonde haired, blue eyed, pink toes, pale skin, buttermilk complexion, Ironing board backside, caucasoid mutinoid, subject Ooh. a bitch, white cave bitches. And it's a shame. I, and I'm my admiring. I call brother Myron the Sambo from Sudan. I'm hoping that he hasn't been bit by the white Arab disease that teaches that the white Sudanese is better than the black Sudanese. I heard Fresh say that one of his parents was black, but we don't know about the other one. And so we in the New Black Panther Party, and I, Malik Zulu Shabazz, I want to say I love the black woman. I want to say that the black woman is the queen of the planet Earth. She's the mother of civilization. That the black woman is the goddess of the universe. She ain't just somebody we may just happen to want. She is our not just our preference. She's all that we want. We don't want nothing else but the black woman. And we are, and one day we're going to put a stop to this. As Khalid Muhammad said, that one day we will come to that stage and that microphone and these black movement will snatch you off that goddamn stage for talking and dogging our people and we and dogging the black woman out. We love some chocolate black women. The blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. And that's all we want to hear out here. And then, to, as I conclude, to say that everybody has suffered. This, uh, this brother over here looking like he's a black old man, brother uh, Fresh. He's looking as black as tar, talking about he made date a black woman. If you didn't have probably some money, no woman on the earth would touch you, including the black woman. We can tell you ain't had no women. And so, come on, brothers, wake up. If you're going to be an entertainer, be a revolutionary entertainer. If you're going to do something, be like Paul Mooney, man. But stop being a Sambo and a Tom and a, and a bootlicking uh, tool for the Klan and white racism and white supremacy. And that's what I'm like. When are you going to stop, brother? Because if you don't stop, the new Black Panther Party is going to have to stop you. Black power. Hey, man. Like I was saying. How old are you? The 70 years old, nigga? Anyhow. No, bro. bro I got a white ass dog right here. Bro, bro. You're, you're saying... I'm the black woman, right? Bro, I'm from Barbados, bro. My whole life, basically, I was in black chicks. So your assumption, based off of like, oh, these guys are celebrities and they don't like, they, they're cockers always whatever. Bro, at the same time, I respect your opinion, but you don't know us. So for you to say that, I just find it hysterical because you're assuming based off of a clip. Now, I don't know what you date. I don't care what you date. None of my business. So, we got to say, bro, because you're talking a lot of shit right now, bro. A lot of shit. Uh, bro, what I, I'm doing is, is I'm, as I'm being on. Okay. So, Nick, you're, oh, you're, you're making derogatory <laughs> white people, uh, and that's okay. <laughs> like, right up. <laughs> He's saying, like, we're going to make jokes on everyone. And, oh, you're putting down the black woman. Don't talk. With all due respect, is how you look right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Carl, bro. This is how you. Uh, you might have and I ain't gonna let you go, Myron. How you look like? Come on, Myron. Come on, Myron. Oh, you got bro. Wrong, bro. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> get all the time, brother Myron. We see every. Yeah, bro. Some wild shit. <laughs> the whole shit was a damn clown show. Let alone that one part we put on the clown mask. But yeah, basically, like. Yeah, they just not taking it serious enough. And my guy, you know, Dr. Umar the second, you feel me? He taking it a little bit too serious. Like, bro, you a little disrespectful with how you coming at them, man. Like, how you coming at white people and shit like that. I mean, yeah, I, I feel you to an extent. But, like, you could have said that a little bit less racist, bro. That was kind of crazy how you said it. 
but I get the sentiment and yeah fresh and fit like I mean yeah you right they on some bullshit with what they were saying but like yeah you just completely dropped the ball with how you came across saying it too so I don't know man the shade room uh black women you know a bunch of black men everybody been trying to get them canceled at this point they sick of their shit at this point but yeah I don't know if that's gonna happen like because the majority of the people that are trying to get them canceled obviously ain't their crowd so I don't know how it's gonna work I doubt they'll be growing any much more after this though cause yeah it's just like they drawing a line in the sand and they going that way they not gonna bend or fold nothing like they sticking to what they doing so I mean I'm that's cool I guess hopefully they don't get ripped the hell off YouTube but yeah they hopefully they learned a valuable lesson from this but yeah let me know what y'all think in the comments y'all think they should be cancelled or y'all still rocking with Fresh and Fit yeah man that's gonna be it for this one appreciate y'all for watching like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all on the next one peace